The Abamia Moving Column Ranger machine tools, also known as the Z range, is massive. So let's get to grips with what they're all about. Myelin, the Z range is absolutely huge. Can you tell us more and kind of simplify the configurations that you have? Yeah, the third series are uh, mowing column and fixed table machines. We can work in pure three axes, what is the ZB uh, machines, but we can also work in, f in up to five axes, thanks to our tilting head and the rotary tables, which are the ZBH machines. In both models, we can work in extreme or multi-process uh, machines that are for milling and positioning in the extreme case, and for turning and milling in the multi-process uh, case. Uh, the customer can have from a very standard configuration machine, that is our star machine, to a very customized or turnkey machines, that are our multi-process and extreme machines, in which we can add automation, extra devices, trunion fixtures and so on, uh, to make a very customized or turnkey solution. So this is one of our keys, the flexibility and adaptability of our machines. So currently Nesta and I are standing in front of the star model in the range. Nesta, who typically invests in a machine like this? Okay, this type of machine is a very flexible machine because nowadays companies do not know what's coming through the door. One day they might be working with a cubicle small pad, that the next day they are working with a totally different part for a different sector, a long part for example, combining prismatic vertical machining with long part horizontal machining. So this machine gives you the flexibility to adapt to those kind of parts. Absolutely. We are talking about general workshops to hard milling operations for oil and gas, yellow goods sectors, and even the machine is used for high precision uh, demanding sectors such as aerospace, aeronautics, semiconducting companies, defense companies. So this machine covers all that scope. Absolutely it does. Right, and you talked about flexibility. Tell me about the multitasking capabilities then. The multitasking uh, capabilities of this machine, uh, you can combine vertical turning, vertical milling with horizontal turning, milling. You can combine any kind of geometry and weight material in all the scope of the machine. We are talking about 3 meter by 800 by 800. So it's a very high cubical uh, working area and you can combine all of the processes in the same machine. And let's talk about the heart of the machine. Of course, it's the spindle. What varieties have you got here? Okay, talking about the spindle, we need to talk always about two things. We are talking about the B-axis, which is Ibarmia own design system. It's a direct torque motor. Uh, applied to the head. It's no gear and transmission, it's a direct drive, thermal control. So it's a very powerful technology, up to 6,000 newton meter of blocking and high continuous uh, five axis machining capacity for hard materials, up to 60 Rockwell C materials. We are talking about hard dogs, we are talking about Inconel. This kind of materials will really demand a powerful spindle. Yes. Going into the spindle, of course, the second part, the spindle is a 75 kilowatt uh, motor spindle, 12,000 RPMs, up to 452 newton meter in continuous five axis machining. So we are talking about a prime high uh, powerful spindle to cover all this scope of materials, from simple steels to uh, really hard uh, materials. And how does it maintain performance then over long periods of time? Good. As said before, this B axis, all the axis of the machine are thermal control, direct measurement, and as I said, one of the key points of our B axis technology is there is no gear transmission in between. So in any kind of collision, uh, error when programming, there is no mechanical gear that may be broken. So this uh, enables the machine to have a zero backlash. That's what we meant. Apart from that, the machine can be equipped with a lot of optionals, such as kinematic rotary axis calibration system, so we can ensure doing uh, the calibration cycles that we maintain the precision all over the working volume of the machine and over the time. That being said, what type of accuracies is a machine like this going to work okay, to? We can go in this kind of machines, we are talking uh, from 6 microns in the 3 axis and 4 in repeatability to up to 10 or 5 depending on the machine. We are talking about a machine that goes from 1.5 meters up to 12 meters. So it's a really, really long uh, course. Yeah. Uh, so here the precision may vary, but in this precise model we are talking about 
8 microns in 1 meter wow. and 4 repeatability. Additionally, we have high precision packages that can maintain this not only in 1 meter but in all the working volume of the machine. Now, as you can see, this machine doesn't have a partition, but you can have a partition within the machine. So how easy is that to install and who's going to use it? Yes, of course we can. We have the partition wall from the smallest 1.5 meter course to 12 meters. Who's going to use it? Someone who wants to increase the productivity and combine different operations. Partition wall can be installed in five, within five minutes by the use of a crane. Oh, really? Yes, even the accessory comes with a trolley to have the partition wall somewhere aside and you an operator can easily take it next to the machine and then with a crane you can install it. It's really simple, it's mechanically fixed to the T-slots of the table and then of course we have, you need to connect it with the electronic uh, systems of the machine just to let the machine know the partition wall is in between, in the middle of the machine. What, what companies are they using? Any kind of companies. As you are dividing the machine into two, it's like having two machines in one. Yes. You can combine vertical uh, turning in one side of the machine with horizontal milling in the other. So you are doubling the production and doubling uh, the capabilities of the machine. It's like having two machines in one. Are there any other features on the machine that can help with the demanding environment, say? Of course, of course, uh, uh, for the experience of Ivarmia, Ivarmia is selling all over the world, so we need to adapt to this as well. We are selling machines uh, in India, for example, uh, in, in China, those where high temperatures and high humidity exist. So we have our own high precision thermal control system where we are cooling all the axes, the environment of the machine, and we are controlling it to ensure the precision is maintained all over the time in the whole working area of the machine. Myling, can you tell me some of the processes of the machines and the type of applications people are using? Yeah, we have multitasking machine. In one same machine, uh, we can make a horizontal turning operation thanks to the lathe spindle, thanks to the lumbering bar, we can make internal turning operation. We can use the vertical integrated rotary table to make vertical uh, milling and turning operation. And in one same machine, we can ha also have uh, GR uh, operations, uh, skiving, hoving, and so on, and also grinding or whatever the customer needs. And in terms of the future, you have improved, you're constantly improving your range with the new Gen 6? Yeah, we have already launched our first prototype. It has a lot of benefits because we have reduced the pivoting distance of the, of the machine. We have also reduced the distance from the fixed table to the head when you put it in horizontal. We have improved uh, the total footprint of the machine. Uh, we will be able to load and unload tools while we are machining. It has a lot of advantages to have the best, uh, less, the best machine of the market. Yeah. And, and why is that so important to you at Abamia? Yeah, for us the constant improvement and the, to stay always in the high position in the market is very important because everybody is improving and if you don't improve, you will never have the, the best machine.